Bismillah. Hello and welcome to another video by WG Productions. In this video, I am going to show you exactly how you can make a really cool animated gradient face cam that changes colors and uh, the colors are rotating around the face cam border. So you can just go ahead and stream with style. But before that, if you are new to the channel, then please subscribe and let's get straight to the video. So after opening After Effects, you just need to select the composition, select your new composition. You can just name it anything. And uh, the duration over here, 10 seconds. Frame rate, I'm just going to select as uh, 30. So the background is uh, 1920 by 1080 pixels and you can select OK. So once this is done, uh, you can uh, just go ahead and select right click over here select new and select the shape layer so for this shape i am using this rectangle tool as you can see over here so i'm just going to draw the rectangle over here by clicking and dragging I'm just i'm going to adjust the uh, dimensions from over here uh, but before that uh, let's just go ahead and select the fill as none. You will press Alt and this, then press your uh, left mouse button and this will change and select the uh, fill as none. So for the stroke, let's keep it at 10. I think 10 looks good. So uh, if you come down over here in the contents, uh, then you will uh, see this uh, a few options over here. So in this rectangle path, you can see that this is the size of the uh, face cam. So I'm just going to select 1280 over here and 720 over here. So this is 16 ratio 9 uh, face cam that we are making. So let's just uh, center align this by going down over here selecting your align and then align this uh, vertically as well so if you are not uh, seeing this option then uh, you just need to select window and select align button over here so once this is done uh, you can uh, maybe increase the pixels a little uh, the size of the webcam to maybe 15 this is good so uh, the next thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to add the colors for the gradient on top of this. So for this, I'm going just going to select the layer, select the layer styles, select the gradient overlay. So in this gradient overlay, you can see that uh, you just need to select this arrow over here. And for the colors, just select edit gradient but before that i'm just going to go ahead and import my colors i'm importing both my uh, logo and my colors over here so you can uh, attach your logo as well so i'm just going to drag these layers on top of this right over here you can decrease the size of this by selecting v pressing v and then decreasing the size just going to place it over here for a little while and for this gradient uh, we are going to just uh, adjust this gradient so for these colors you can see that just edit gradient and I'm going to bring these colors over here so for this one color I'm just going to go ahead and select this and for the other color I'm going to select this blue over here this light blue color so you can see that it's a nice gradient over here for this uh, angle i'm just going to start it at 45 degrees so you can see that uh, this gradient is uh, in this position now uh, these colors these color codes i am going to mention them in the description you just need to copy these color codes uh, in your section over here for this one, you can uh, pink, you can just copy the color code and put it over here. For this blue, you can just put that over here as well. So you don't need to worry about that. So I'm just going to hide this and just place my logo over here. 
in the center. So I have selected uh, 2 colors instead of 10 because uh, I think that I don't want to stuff this face cam uh, uh, with a bunch of colors uh, like 10 different colors uh, like a fat cat stuck in a door. So that's why I am using only 2 colors. The next thing you need to do is uh, just uh, position your logo uh, in the center like so and you can maybe decrease the size a little by selecting this and holding down shift. So our, our gradient is ready now. Now we are going to animate our gradient. So we are going to animate the angle. So uh, if we are in the first frame or the first second and we will select this uh, keyframe this angle as over here. Then we will move towards 10 and then we are going to just go ahead and select the uh, this value 1 over here because this is going to take, make a whole rotation. So once this is going to render out then you can see that it is uh, making an entire rotation. Uh, this color is making an entire rotation. So if you want to speed up the process then you can bring your keyframe to around 4 seconds but it all depends on you because uh, how fast do you want the animation. Some people like slow animation, some people like fast animations. This is a much uh, faster animation yeah, but this is good enough as well. So another really cool thing that you can do with this uh, gradient animation is that uh, you can select this scale and uh, if this is 100 you can just bring it down to a uh, lower value like uh, 10 or 15 and you will see what will happen. Uh, this gradient uh, has a change to a much faster animation or uh, you know much more visible animation if you like that. Uh, so it's uh, all depends on you. So I'm just going to end my animation at 4 seconds and uh, just right uh, over there here I'm just going to select N on my keyboard. Um, and for these two keyframes I'm just going to click and drag and select these and press F9 on my keyboard to easy ease them. So this will ease out the animation. If your F9 key is broken because you decided to place chess with it, then you can just uh, select both of these and right click, select keyframe assistant and then press easy ease. So that's no trouble. So after this, I'm just going to, uh, face cam is a uh, transparent background. So I'm just going to import this, uh, export the file as MOV file, QuickTime, which is QuickTime MOV file, and uh, select the RGB plus alpha. This option is very important because for face cams, uh, we need a transparency, so RGB plus alpha channel is very important. And for the output, you can just output it to anywhere and render the file. So once your file has rendered out, then it's going to look something like this, and uh, you can see that it's a really cool, nice, minimal, modern face cam animation uh, that you can use uh, for uh, streaming online and it's going to really attract some uh, attention and towards your channel. So I hope you like this video and uh, if you did please leave a thumbs up and uh, subscribe to my channel as it really helps. So I'm and I will see you guys in the next video. Thanks so much for watching.